Hey, so it's Friday. I am doing my best to try to have a really productive day. I woke up late, I had to run to Preston's school this morning to pick up his packet and his binder and they give him a little thing. So the big question, are we sending our kids back to school? Um, the big question, are we sending our kids back to school? Um, and no, because we can't. It's not even an option right now where I live. But even if it was for this particular school year, the answer to that probably would have been a big fat no, anyways. Um, you know, I think that over this whole thing, I've kind of had an opportunity to think about a lot of things. And I think one of those things is like, what is this? Not that schools don't teach anything because they get the basics of education at school, but it's kind of like, what are kids even learning, you know? We have an opportunity right now to take this as a good thing and really usher in how we want things to go and flow in our families. and. Uh, be able to sort of see better and monitor better the things that our children learn and take in and especially for the littles like maybe not for some of the bigger kids of course you know my oldest is going to 10th grade so she's been indoctrinated into the system of school for a very long time but especially for my kinder and my pre-k like right now is a really perfect time and space to step into sort of um maybe doing school from home. So we are not going full on homeschool. I have not pulled them out of the actual district um, school system and put them into any type of homeschooling right now. Our kids in our district have had access to distance learning. They've had Chromebooks for almost probably three years maybe even four years now so we've already sort of been accustomed to doing assignments and you know logging into the different um, access points to be able to communicate with the teachers we've been a part of the class dojo system for a couple of years now which is another way to communicate and pass back and forth information between teachers and students and parents and things of that nature so um, when we started with the distance learning in March when everybody sort of had to go home and go on distance learning they already had their class signed in they were already able to speak back and forth with their teachers so from there it was about setting up zoom classes and obviously it was unorganized and nobody really kind of had a clue what direction to really go with it some of the teachers didn't show up at all for their classes um, they never made zoom videos or Google meet or Google classroom or Google any damn thing they just they didn't show up um, and then for example, you know, Preston's uh, pre-K teacher or TK teacher was absolutely phenomenal and she started a YouTube channel and she made videos for her kids every day so that they were able to interact and so they got a little taste of that already. Um, I don't know what is going to go on with this whole coronavirus, okay, and um, I am also not necessarily so much buying into it. I do believe that something is going to arise out of this again and that's probably about all I'll say on that is something about this will be a big deal again and I just don't even think that I want my kids mixed up in in the midst of that um, watching media really has the ability to <laughs> send your brain on a whirlwind um, and it really has the ability to scare some people like let's just be real um, in the beginning of this whole thing when it first started um, there was a lot of fear there was a lot of fear and there probably still is a lot of fear going around in the world but um we're not gonna go off on a whole tangent about all of that if you're scared don't be scared you know be prepared <laughs> and with that being said that is what i am trying to do today uh, on this productive day to just finish everything up school officially starts next week for everybody so i have a, my last little bit of organizing stuff that i need to try to get done i also have beat orders that i need to get out um it's been really hectic with 
some of that and trying to just <laughs> try to juggle it all. Oh, and also I'm going to be transferring some stuff from a suitcase that I have into a tote that I bought the other day for our uh, earthquake emergency kit. Um, you know, I live in California and, and I'm just gonna keep it 100, above 100 for that matter. It's been shared and I've been told and warned, I guess if you would say, um, you know, some extreme weather is, might be showing up, not even might be, will be showing up uh, just across the world. It already has been, guys, it's summertime and like different places are having just crazy things go on. But I do live in California and we need to be prepared for <laughs> some shaking. And how can you really prepare for that, you know, because you don't exactly know when or what time or how, but having essential things, um, you know, I was told to stock up on water and just obviously some essentials and to be prepared for maybe no power or no water or no gas or, you know, just essential things that might be needed, be prepared to possibly have 30, 45, even 90 days, maybe without those things. So let's get this day on the road. So productive Friday going up. <laughs> So like I said, I had several things at least on my to-do list today and that started with some stretching. I've been having some like nerve pain or I don't know in my right leg but area so I needed to stretch. I've been subscribed to Gaiam and so they have a ton of yoga and really good stretch videos on there so I knocked one of those out for about 30 minutes. And then after that, while I switched everything into our earthquake kit, I filmed the video for that. And then last but not least, I spent quite a bit of time working on fixing up my website and my email list. Also, just checking through some emails. And if you guys don't know, I do social media for a nonprofit organization, so I worked on some of that as well. Once I finished that, I needed a break. It was quiet time in our house, which we have every single day so that everyone can have those moments to really just center and, you know, come back to our sanity. Having everyone home all the time is a lot. So I also was playing my sound bowls at that time and I filmed a video for that for my other channel. And then last but not least, I was able to put away the stuff that I bought for um, our homeschool room and that's it guys, <laughs> it was a pretty good day. Thanks for stopping by and I will see you guys in the next video.